what is shaken, Internet? This assault's bringing you the How to Tank for Dummies Hellfire Assault LFR Guide. Hellfire Assault is the first boss in the Hellbreach instance of the Hellfire Citadel Raid. This guide will cover the trash up to the boss and the boss itself, focusing on tank mechanics but giving a brief overview of the fight as well. For those of you in queue or already in the instance, a quick synopsis. Round up all the ads near any siege mach machines, killing Martak early, and focusing siege machines over all other ads. The only other important move to interrupt possibly is repair from the engineers. Make sure to interrupt this as often and early as possible. First, let's discuss the trash. The trash in the first area basically needs to all be killed before the fight can actually begin. Luckily, it gives you a taste of what to expect during the fight as well, since most of the ads in the fight are already shown in the trash. Uh, Berserkers are probably the biggest problem, as they will debuff you with Slam, making you take increased damage. The casters do a lot of damage and can be interrupted, but they'll probably die pretty fast either way. The rest of the trash is pretty simple. Generally, just round up as much of the mobs as you can handle and burn them all down. Just watch for lots of stacks of Slam if you're getting a little too crazy. Now, once you clear all the mobs on the main floor, more ads will be released in the back, near the big cannons. Once you finish these off, Siege Master Martok will finally come out of the big doors. Pulling her or her entourage will start the Assault event boss. Now, the Assault is a fairly straightforward uh, fight for tanks. Uh, the fight centers around your two Hellfire cannons, which are friendly siege weapons at the back. Throughout the fight, these things will damage the doors. If they break the door, the fight is over and you win. If they get destroyed, the fight is over and you lose. There are several siege machine ads that will spawn and try to uh, destroy your cannons. None of these siege ma machines are <laughs> I keep saying that siege machines are tankable, but there are plenty of ads that are tankable. Uh, the basic idea throughout the fight is that you should grab all the tankable ads and hold them all together. If a siege machine spawns, take your big ball of ads over to the siege machine and focus it down while cleaving all your new friends. There is a pretty clear priority in the fight on what to focus down. First and foremost, kill siege machines. These are the only real thing that will actually cause an issue with your raid. There are three types of siege machines, and they will spawn pretty much every minute or so. Uh, the artillery are the simplest siege machines. They'll appear, and they barrage the cannon from a distance, doing lots of damage to anybody nearby the cannons. This won't be a problem for you since you won't be close to cannons pretty much ever. Flame belchers are the other ranged siege machine. These things will move forward towards the cannon and then start shooting out patches of fire. Don't stand in these, plain and simple. Crushers are the last type of siege machine, which are probably the most annoying ones, in my opinion. They are melee only, so they will keep traveling all the way up to the cannons. They can't be tanked, so you're really not important here, but you should try to stick close so that the DPS can kill adds with the AoE. Now, the only, only a really important thing to know about all the siege engines is that they damage everything in their path. Simply don't stand in front of any of the machines while they're moving, or ever really, if you can avoid it. Now, I covered the siege machines first because they're the top priority for the raid, but none of them can be tanked, so you really don't need to do anything about them. Still, you should try to stick close to any machine that's up to help kill it quickly. Always mark the siege engine with a skull to make sure everyone's killing it as fast as possible. Now, for the tankable ads. Miss Martok here, Martak here, whatever, is a mini-boss. She'll basically be the main target as long as no siege engines are alive, so for the very, very, very first part of the fight. You'll definitely want to focus her down as quickly as possible, as she'll buff up all the other ads in the entire fight as long as she's alive. Luckily, she leaves the arena at about 50%, so she'll be gone pretty quickly. Now, the only thing to say about Martak is that you shouldn't stand in her cone attack. Just sidestep it when it, she casts it. Now, there are a lot of other little ads that are tankable that will constantly spawn, slightly faster than the, thie than the siege machines. You need to round these guys all up and keep them on you. They'll spawn from little spike balls that get thrown down on the battlefield. Don't stand near them until after they land to avoid taking the damage. Now, there are four types of ads that will spawn. Most important to you are the hulking berserkers. These guys are a problem because they stack up a debuff on you called Slam, which increases the damage you take, just like the trash before the boss. This means if your raid isn't killing this guy fast enough, you'll need to maybe swap tanks. Um, they can only stack up to 9%, so 90% bonus damage. Hopefully you'll kill them before then, but it's really not that bad. It's not always really easy switching tanks here, so I really wouldn't recommend a tank swap, as each tank will likely have some adds on them at any given time. If it, for whatever reason, gets a little crazy and you start taking excessive damage, you do want to swap, preferably at around 6 to 7 stacks. 
Now this is pretty much the only big tank mechanic in the entire fight, so this is what you'll probably need to use to watch for cooldown usage if you get a lot of stacks of slam. Now the next ad I'll cover is the Engineer. These guys have a few moves, but one very, very important one. Repair. These guys will cast Repair for a second or so, and then begin healing the machines, the siege machines, very quickly. Repair must be interrupted, if at all possible, or the siege engines will heal up very, very fast, and then they'll go kill your cannons. Uh, the Engineer will also do uh, random damage to people and put some bombs down, but these really shouldn't matter much to you. If you're, too not, if you're not too focused on the Hulks, always keep the Engineer targeted and watch for those repair casts so you can interrupt them. Now the next important add are the Fell Casters. These are casters that will do two things, a single target nuke on their tank and a raid wide nuke. If possible, the raid wide nuke should be interrupted, but your really priority should be interrupting the repair first and foremost. Uh, these are the same casters from before the boss, but with so many th other things to kill, they'll probably stick around a little bit longer than back in the trash. And because of that, fell casters will actually transform into stronger adds eventually as well, doing more damage, but hopefully they'll die quickly and this really won't matter. Now the final add is the Iron Dragoon, and very good news, there's absolutely nothing to say here. They're just a worthless add that can be tanked in a big group. All in all, my recommendations for the adds are to have one tank grab the big guy and the fell casters while the other grabs everyone else. Uh, this will help because the caster damage will not increase with the slam debuffs. However, it really doesn't matter if you have one tank that just wants to tank everything, it's totally possible in normal level gear. Um, the other important things to watch are stacks of slam, and then interrupt the repair cast of the engineers. Round up the adds with the other tank, and have them taunt the big guy if you start taking lots and lots of damage. Now that pretty much covers the whole fight from the tank perspective, and then a little bit more. So let's review. Focus down Martak, hopefully taking her out before any siege machines show up, and watch for her cone attacks. When the spike balls open up and dump out adds, round them up quickly. Interrupt repair, and watch for stacks of slam. When siege engines appear, head over to them and start focusing them down. Don't stand in front of the siege engines when they're around. Now, there is one thing I want to talk about very briefly before closing up. The cannon's ammunition. Basically, your friendly cannons will run out of ammo after a little while. The only way to refill that ammo is to destroy a siege machine and then grab the ammo crate that it drops. This will give you an extra action button that you can use on the cannons, refilling their ammo. Uh, grabbing the ammo also starts burning you and gives you a little move speed boost. However, none of these things should matter to you as a tank, as you pretty much should never, ever, ever have to pick up the ammo. That should be a DPS or healer job. Now overall, this is a very simple fight where you have to round up a lot of adds and watch a debuff. The fight is very simple and shouldn't prove much of an issue as long as your raid is killing off the siege engines first and foremost. Keep them marked when they appear and everything really should be okay. It's very possible to do this entire fight in LFR with a single tank. I hope you have enjoyed this guide for dummies. If you'd like to see some more Hellfire Citadel guides, click on the annotation in the top left of the video now, or in the description below. Please like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and, as always, you keep it salty, Internet.